Hey everyone, so here we have a BMW in its natural habitat and um, Ace Auto Centre very kindly let me do um, just a little recording inside the workshop to uh, tell you all what's happening. So this is the EME and what's happened is this high voltage fuse here has blown. Uh, I showed you that in my previous video. So uh, basically the way it works is, as far as I can understand it anyway, um, this is going to the air conditioning compressor and this goes to the PTC heater in the front. So this fuse is apparently for both of them. Uh, the other end of that fuse there is directly connected to them both. So um, something has blown. That's the original compressor in there. And, um, and Hunter has informed me that there's absolutely no oil inside it. And I could see that. Um, this compressor was making a horrible noise quite a while ago and I don't think it's worked since then. So I'm going to do another video with a disassembly on this compressor and we'll have a look inside. There's one thing that's bothering me, however, uh, is that on this, this, I don't know what this is, I think it's a relay or something, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, that's the thing. I'm worried that I'm going to open this and then I'm going to be no further forward. But anyway, I was thinking that the PTC heater, there, there's actually a PWM controller in here which should uh, sort of pulse the, the high voltage just at a certain duty cycle to control the heat. But um, it doesn't work like that. I've been doing measurements on this and it's all just direct bus bar connections. It's actually very simple. It's just the fuse uh, and that fuse is actually for... Uh, the heater and the air conditioning as I said so it's obviously it, it's fairly simple and it appears to be a direct bus bar connection that's going into the, where the, where the, wherever the high voltage is coming from on the other side of this board so we can't see anything that's wrong in here at all uh, apart from that blown fuse now the thing that's really really puzzling me is that there's just no short circuit anywhere that I can find um, Hunter can't find one either, so I've measured in here, no short circuit at all. So my theory is that uh, the windings are shorted, and when the inverter inside this turns on, it's just trying to put power into those shorted windings perhaps, and that's what's blowing the fuse when the PTC heater is shorted. Uh, remember it was a PTC heater, it was a heating that failed last. Um, so that suggests to me that there might be a short inside the PTC heater somewhere. Uh, but because there's an electronic controller in the way, you cannot really tell. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're up to just now. Um, the leak in the air conditioning system, that's going to have to be tested for. And if it's leaked inside the high voltage battery, then that's obviously very serious. Because um, I'm not sure if you can take the floor off this to have a look at it. Um, obviously all these bolts would need to come out but I don't know if you can actually do that or not I won't be doing that um, but if it's leaked inside the high voltage battery as I said then obviously that's going to be very very expensive so it's not looking good um, but the good thing about the range extender if the compressor fails there is I think this is a filter dryer it has it right there so it catches all the crap before it goes into everything else but yeah, here's the rest of it here. So yeah, I, I came all the way from Cowden Beef to Edinburgh on my scooter, so that was 17 miles, it was quite difficult. But um, yeah, there's uh, not a lot else I can do with it just now, and I'm just going to um, head off up the road and uh, let him get on with putting this back together and replacing the blown fuse.